Hello, in this video we'll be learning how to connect MySQL Workbench to your Google Cloud SQL instance and database using the Cloud Proxy. This video will be only covering MySQL, however the process is really similar with other database engines. You just need to make sure that you select the right link in their instructions page. You need to make sure that you have installed already your MySQL client. Also, you need to have already created your instance and your database. You also need to make sure that SAMP is not running so it doesn't conflict if you use the same port number. First thing we need to do is to enable the API. Just click on the link provided in the documentation page and follow the steps. Then we need to install the proxy. The installation will depend on the operating system. Make sure to select the one that you're using and follow the instructions. In this case, I am using Windows 64, so I will select the tab and then click on the link provided there. You need to get the path in which you are going to save your file and then rename to cloud underscore SQL underscore proxy as stated in the instructions. Then you need, to, you need to scroll a little down. You will need the instance connection name, which is available in your Google Cloud administration page. You can find it here. And also, if you open the actual instance, you will see it in the general overview. Just copy the whole connection name and then you need to copy the text that is in the instructions. You need to write cloud underscore SQL underscore proxy and then space instances, the name of your connection and after that the port number. Then we need to open the Google Cloud shell. However, you can also do this using the command console from Windows. The first thing that we need to do is to change the directory to the location in which we have saved our proxy. Then copy and paste the text that we just built and hit enter. Wait a couple of seconds and then you are ready to connect to your instance and database. So we're gonna create a new connection in our workbench. We need to put our host name and port. The port will be the same number that you have in the proxy connection. You can click on test connection. It's gonna prompt us the password and it's connecting correctly. So let's hit OK. And now we can see how we can start using the databases in this instance and doing queries. Once you want to stop this connection, just go back to the Google Cloud Shell, hit Ctrl C in your keyboard and then it's going to end your connection. That's it for this video, we hope you find this useful, we are PowerGI.